Welcome back, viewers. Today we will be completing Ice Cream Island. Let's check out this level, shall we? Here, we have a new obstacle. Tree nuts that explode. If one of these nuts falls on Kirby, it will damage him. I would compare these things to Deku nuts from the Legend of Zelda franchise. He performs a vanishing type of jutsu. In the second part of Stage 1, Kirby travels along a beach. Here we find Sword, Parasol, and the Crash abilities. The third part of Stage 1 is a wooded area with the Tornado and Parasol abilities. I paused for a brief moment to show the dialogue for Parasol, and yes, it does have some uses that we will get into at a later date. Just like that, we complete Stage 1. The next thing I'd like to show off is the Egg Catcher minigame. This one is really tough and I often struggle with it, but let me show it to you anyway. King DDD will throw eggs and bombs at Kirby, and it is Kirby's job to catch the eggs while letting the bombs slide off him. If you manage to catch every egg, you'll be rewarded with extra lives. With that minigame done, let's move on to stage 2. The first area is inside of a tree with a couple of enemies that block Kirby's path. The second area is blocked, but can be cleared with a bomb tile that Kirby will hit with a parasol. Then an enemy with the needle ability will block Kirby's path, but is quickly removed with the parasol. The warp star will transport Kirby to the desert, because a mini-boss waits there. You might have been able to guess that this enemy gives Kirby the wheel ability. Now, the reason why you see me die to this mini-boss is because I'm not the best player when it comes to these types of games. Let me fast forward the footage so that I can properly show the wheel ability. This ability is used to skim through a stage that has a linear build, though there are stages that have this ability but not the proper build to utilize it. I will try to point that out at a later date. The last area of stage 2 isn't really worth noting, containing few enemies. Stage 2 is now complete. Since I've already shown off Crane Fever in the previous episode, I'll just skip to the part when I collect the plush toys. With the two large plush toys collected, we gain an extra four lives. Let's start Stage 3. The beginning of Stage 3 contains an enemy with a parasol ability, and the scenery takes place on a coastal cliffside. The second section of Stage 3 takes place underground, and I grab the sword ability to replace the wheel. We swim through the third section of stage 3. Not much to note here, to be honest. The fourth section contains a secret 1-up if you travel along the path I show here. Travel to the other end of the cave to reach the fifth section of stage 3. Here, we have to battle Meta Knight's minions. If you don't have any abilities, you can always inhale them and spit them back out at other enemies that appear here. Just a heads up, first time players might struggle with this mini boss. The final segment of stage 3 isn't really worth mentioning, so I'll skim through this part. Stage 3 is now complete. With the museum unlocked, I obtain a new ability, laser. This is useful where there is an enemy above a sloped surface. Beginning with Stage 4, we find ourselves in a clouded area. At the bottom of the building that we enter, there's an extra 1-up. Returning to the clouded area, we can obtain an M-Tomato when flying to the top of the screen. Entering the building on the far right, we find ourselves back on the surface near a mini-boss. Here we can obtain the Rock ability, which when used, will make Kirby invincible only when he is in rock form. After beating the mini-boss, when Kirby inhales it, he will gain the Microphone ability. This grants Kirby the ability to damage enemies three times with his favorite song. The third section of Stage 4 is a clouded area, and now that I think about it, this game isn't always very linear in its design. The fourth section is a secluded area where Kirby can obtain a 1-up by using the laser ability. The final section of stage 4 takes place along a beach, with the door in the middle of it leading to a room filled with enemies and a health bottle. After climbing over a hillside, we reach the end of stage 4. We unlock a new minigame called the Arena. 
where Kirby can obtain an ability and an M tomato after beating the mini boss. Now it is time to complete stage 5 of Ice Cream Island. The first section takes place in a wooded area. The only ability that you can get here is Parasol. Next, Kirby will stroll along a beach. You can get the wheel ability here, but there's also a hindrance ability called Sleep that when you pause after obtaining will reveal Kirby's dialogue breaking the fourth wall. Sleep is the only power-up that does this. After recovering a little bit of health in a mini section, we enter the third section of stage 5. You can find high jump, parasol, sword, and fireball here. The fourth section utilizes the high jump ability. This ability allows Kirby to damage enemies and obstacles by jumping through them. Here's a demonstration. There isn't much to note about the final section other than the enemy that rides the M tomato. Stage 5 is now complete. Before we enter the boss room, there is a new overworld section that is called a Warp Star Station. Here, if you have this unlocked, you will be able to travel between the different levels, or worlds as some people like to call them. Since there are only two levels unlocked at this current time, you can only travel between Vegetable Valley and Ice Cream Island. It is useful if you need a fast travel method. The main boss of Ice Cream Island is known as Paint Roller. This person creates portraits that come to life much similar to the portrait ghosts of Luigi's Mansion. The Paint Roller produces portraits that turn into enemies like a baseball, which gives the ball ability, a car, which gives the wheel ability, a bomb, which grants the crash ability, a cloud, which gives spark, a mic, which gives the microphone ability, and a parasol. There is a trick to this boss fight. If you stand next to the portrait to inhale the enemies that come from them, you can get a guaranteed hit on the boss, as you see me demonstrate here. Do so enough times to defeat the paint roller and collect the second piece of the star rod. The cutscene for the third level, Butter Building, shows Kirby struggling to climb up as an enemy throws a bomb on top of him. So, not neat. Thank you for watching. Before I sign off, I'd like to say that the reason why I haven't uploaded in so long is that my busy schedule has just recently became much busier. Hopefully I will be able to find some time to complete this series because I don't like to leave projects unfinished. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. I honestly don't know when I'll be able to upload again, but I will try to manage the extra time that I do have to focus on completing this playthrough. Until the next time I upload, I hope to see you all on a paradise planet.